Hey everyone, I wanted to do a quick review and installation of this lumber storage rack system from Homeydom. I think that's how you say it, H-O-M-Y-D-O-M. Incredibly cheap, incredibly strong, so useful. It has really expanded my shop so much. It's allowed me to use space that I normally couldn't use, which is basically high wall space. You can see it behind me. I have pretty tall ceilings. I have, I think they're 12 footers. And that's up in an area that I, you know, I really just couldn't utilize. I put these things up. I, no matter what I throw at these things, it's, it's, it's holding it. It's really awesome. And they're cheap. They are cheap. For four brackets, which makes three shelves, it cost me 60 bucks. And I just keep buying them. I, I'm, I just bought another set, and we're going we're gonna to install it after I show you how I have everything set up now. We're going to install a set in the corner for metal storage. Right now it's all lumber storage, but I got a welding over there and I got a whole ton, whole ton of metal that's just all over the place. I'm just going to put these racks up for 60 bucks, storing everything. So let me swing you around and I'll go through everything and I'll talk to you about some of the weights too. I figured out the weights on how, on how heavy the lumber is that I have stored up there. All right, I apologize for the glare coming in from the windows, but this is the first section that I put up right there. You can see that it's, I'll show you how it works here. You can see underneath that there's a, a black piece that attaches to the wall and then these orange shelving posts, they attach to the black part. One, two, three come with each bracket. And I was saying four, for 60 bucks. They also sell a two. You can buy just two setups. And I think that's $35, but I've only bought the fours. This is all board and batten. Let me just get you out again. And I, when I was first putting this up, I said to myself, yeah, I don't think it's gonna be able to hold all this. <laughs> it's no problem. I mean, this thing, it just ate this stuff up. I mean, it was nothing for this. And this, you know, I don't know, this might weigh 275 and you pull on this thing and it's not going anywhere. And this is where I said to myself, uh, I better start ordering more of these because these are one by six pressure treated right there. There's 20 of them there. Now, they're eight footers. A two by six, 10 footer pressure treated wet is 40 pounds. So I would say these are about 15 pounds each. There's 20, that's 300 pounds. Plus, I got a whole bunch of other stuff on there. This is just pine and uh, these are two by fours. So I got about mm, 375, 400 pounds on there. No problem whatsoever. I want you to notice though on this one, I kept all the heavy stuff on the back, right? Kept on the, and this, okay, this is important. This is only on three brackets. Take a look at that. So I got about 400 pounds on three brackets. This, the only reason I had to use four brackets on this because these are longer, those are 11 footers. Once I got that stuff up there, I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta order a bunch more. So I ordered a ton more of these things and now I have all this fiber on. These are 16 footers. I have them all on these brackets and I don't know how many pieces are up there. Four, 10. So there's 10 16 footers. And you can't see it, but behind this wood, there's eight footers. There's another six or seven eight footers. And then in front of that is uh, uh, just pine tongue and groove. And now this is some of the metal that I need to move over to the other side. And now this, this is. One, two, three, four, five, five, two by 12 by eight footers, right? So five, two by 12 by eight footers, is the same as 20, one by six by eight footers, right? It's the same thing. Uh, and so you know this weighs probably something like 350 because I got a bunch of pine there. Uh, I have a whole bunch more of wood that's up here that need to go on these racks. Now, here's what I wanted to point out. And this is, this is why, I, you know, I feel like now that I have these open racks, it's really, it's teaching me about lumber storage. If you have all your lumber 
on a big, almost like second floor thing. This is, this is four feet deep and it's way high up there. It, it's it, it, ridiculous. I could, I could fit lumber from, from, the, from the bottom of this to the ceiling on this whole thing and it wouldn't collapse. It's extremely strong. Uh, these are all four by four posts in here, four by four, four, right? Well, what happens is, yeah, you can store a ton of wood, but you don't know what you have. And getting stuff out is impossible. And that's the thing that I was, I was, it was literally like, I, I was like, I don't know if I have it. I'm just going to go buy some. I was buying four by fours. Meanwhile, I had four by fours over here, 12 footers and four by fours way back there, 12 footers. And I, it's, I, you got to be able to see what you have. And that's another reason why you, you might say this, you know, those shells really aren't that big. Yeah. You know what? You don't want them that big. You really don't want them that big. You want to see what you have and you don't want to overload it. Use the wall space. Use everything you have. Now, granted, my shop is pretty big, uh, but still, I mean, use the wall space. Uh, I, put them, I put them over these, these windows. Now, here's something, I, you know, I kind of wish that they made um, each one of these, these black bars right here, they're held in just by two screws. Two screws, two screws, two screws. That's it. Six screws are holding this thing in. I kind of wish they had a three screw four shelf one. Now, I don't know. Who, who knows really why they didn't do that? Probably they just, they wanted to, it's, it's simple to make all these the same. They probably, you know, they just bang these things out and throw in a curveball like that. Maybe it's not worth it for them. But in my particular case, case, clearly I wish I had another shelf right there. I can't put another one of these in. Uh, it just wouldn't work out. Um, it would be 60 bucks and all I'd get would, was one more shelf because just the way these things are laid out, it doesn't work. It doesn't just doesn't work out. So I do have a lot of space up here that's, that's not used, uh, but it is what it is. I'm, I'm totally and completely happy with this. Uh, I spent 60, 60, 60, 60. So $240 and I just bought another set for 60. So $300, $300. And I got uh, and just an incredible amount of storage expansion and organization. It's not just storage. I, this is, I guess, this is important. When you have all these things up, it's organization. You get to see what you have. And instead of spending, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save $300 just in lumber because I'm going to realize, oh, I got that. I don't need to buy that, <laughs> right? So let's put up uh, two over here that'll allow me to put metal here, get them off uh, this shelf over here so that I could put lumber there. Okay, let's get these up. I'll show you how to do it. It's extremely simple. All right, I wanted to show you what you get uh, with, uh, with one of these packages. Now this would be a two bracket setup. See, there's two brackets here. I bought a four bracket. I just split it up so you didn't, I, we didn't have a ton of stuff here, but it's basically double what you see here. Here's the two brackets. All this stuff is indiv individually wrapped, which is uh, possibly unnecessary, but nice. Wait, there's a wall bracket and a wall bracket. These are two shelves per bag. Now here's the bag of hardware. Here's the screws that they want you to use to, to hold this thing up. Now I have to admit I, don't, I didn't use these screws, but it seems like you can from all the Amazon reviews, which is, there's a million of them. Uh, they all say, oh man, I can't believe that they gave you these little chintzy screws. These aren't actually very, these aren't chintzy at all. These are, these look like number, geez, 12s. Uh, and they're about three inches long, I think. But when you consider that they have to go through here and then through sheetrock, I don't know, I kind of felt like an inch and a half into the stud just wasn't enough for me. But I, clearly it works because people are doing it. Let me show you what I'm using. Now I brought over a number 14 here. Number, you know what? Whew. They're giving you number 14s. Look at that. So these are number 14 screws, but they're only three inches. This is a number 14 four inch. Wish I had a bunch more of those. These are number 10s four inch. I just felt like number 10 versus number 14, but an inch longer. This, this is better for me. 
personally. I'm using this washer that they give you and I'm putting it through here like this. That's what I'm doing. I don't see any reason why you couldn't use these, but I don't know. I felt like this was better. To hold these on, it's a pretty cool solution what they have here. All they have is, is, is this with a cotter pin. Let me tell you something, that's pretty slick. That's real smart. No, no bolts, no screws, no nuts, and that's very strong. This thing is extremely strong, and that's probably one of the reasons why this thing can hold so much weight. If they used a little bolt through here, like a quarter 20, well, you know, it wouldn't be as thick as this. So I'm liking that. Now, to put these up, let me show you what I do. All right, now, uh, here's how I put these up. I get the bracket, the wall bracket, and I get one shelf and I put it, put it in. I, and I go to where it is, and I decide the height that I want. This, this, is, this, is, this is where I want it. I want this bracket here, and I'm gonna do, normally on all the wood, I did 32 inches. So I did two bays, two stud bays. But on this one, I think I'm gonna go down to 48. Get it on the stud. I know exactly where the stud is because I have no tape and spackle. Put this one in. So that's it. If you were doing 32 inches on, in, inches on center, which is what I suggest you do for wood, I, all you do is you take your level, you put it right here, and you get your other bracket, and you put it up on the wall, just like that. And you just, when that ball is, when the bubble is where, you know, when it's level, you just screw it off. It's that easy. Now I'm doing 48. A little bit more difficult because I don't have uh, a 72 inch level. I should pick one up though, to be honest with you. Now you could use a board, uh, you know, a two by four or something, but that's kind of heavy to hold. So all I'm gonna do is put this on here and find the level. There it is. And then just put a mark. Right on the wall. These are steel bed frames. Super, super cheap way to get some really heavy duty steel. This is uh, eighth inch, one and a half by one and a half. And I don't know if you went to Home Depot or something, that is, <laughs> you could probably buy two bed frames uh, for the cost that you'd spend on just one piece of that from Home Depot. Because people like to just give these things away, these, these bed frames. Or, you know, they might charge you $15 for, for one. Huh. Alright, um, so I have some pieces of metal that would fit. This one would fit, but it's, it's a little bit short. It's only hanging over maybe two, three inches. So. Just to be safe, got this piece of wood here. This is, I don't know what this is. Looks like it's one by 16 or. All right, that's good. All right, we took all that metal, we put it up here. There's a it's, this is, it's not even do it. I mean, I could put way more. I could put double the amount of metal on that. Only two brackets. But now we've got some space over on that other side. So let's get some 
more of these 2x12s down and we'll put them up over there. All right, let me flip you around. Well, I got four of these. I got four of these 2x12 by 8 footers. Let's, uh, let's see if we can get them all up there. thing is not coming down. This is good. Okay everyone, well as you can see this stuff freaking super strong and very very easy to put up and is cheap. Really don't see a better combination than that. Links are in the description if you want to check it out. All right everyone, thanks.